beloveds and friends and regulars, um, Bob Seska and I obviously tweeted yesterday because we are both cyclists. And Der- um, Eric, as you may know, if you've just tuned in, died in a bike accident on Monday. And um, hey, Bob, um, you know, Hi. and some of my bike friends, we texted and we're like, this hits really close to home for a lot of us. Oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Not only yeah, whenever maybe, you see, uh, sometimes you'll be driving down the road and you'll see one of those white bicycles. Yeah. For some reason, there's a random Flowers. white bicycle yeah. chained to a you know a sign or something like that. That's a uh, that's a bicyclist who's died while mm-hmm. bike riding, doing something uh, he or she just loved passionately. And I know you and I do. And and uh, I, I think I'm afraid that one of these days I'm going to wake up duct taped to the bed because Kimberly doesn't want me to go bike riding. <laughs> Uh, oh, but it could be for good reasons, too. Oh, Stephanie. <laughs> could be in the fridge. Hey, look, there could oh. be a bonus in that situation. But hey, <laughs> am I Just the take only it. one who take wants Take it like to a man. See- oh. <laughs> am I the only one who wants to see Charlie Pierce fencing? By yes. yes. I, no, I, I yeah. actually skipped yeah. over that in my grief. I was like, <laughs> I want to see Charlie in his fencing outfit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Charlie Pierce sword fighting. Yes. That would be amazing. Uh, in fact, give him a lightsaber. There's a, there's a gladiator. There's a gladiator yeah. movie joke in there, but um, <laughs> he's he's Obi Wan. He was yeah. wearing the hood and everything. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, you, Eric, is, uh, or excuse me, Bob. Hi, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. But you know, as I say, like all the brilliant writers and you know uh, mm-hmm. commentators I have on the show, like you, just really did look up to Eric. I mean, I don't know what else to tweet, yeah. but just yeah. oh my god. He was my hero, oh, very you much know, so. and you yeah, just wrote a beautiful yeah. piece. Thank God Eric Bollert was on our side and you just, you write, you know, consistency. There's a wonderful quote. Consistency is an underappreciated form of in- uh, intentional magic disguised as mundane doing. We could always rely on Eric because of this magic. His presence gifted us with the co- continuity of knowing he would be there in the trenches, saying what needed to be said and writing what needed to be written. Always. We never had to worry about whether he was tired or emotionally drained from shoving his face into the white hot plasma stream of political news every day. And that kind of mm-hmm. consistency is rare. And it's yeah, true. Yeah. It's, he was my, tweeted mm-hmm. that he was my rock. He was my North Star. He was, you know, mm-hmm. I literally, I looked forward to Monday to be able to get me through, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've been doing this a long time. And we've seen a lot of people come and go. A lot of people really active and, and speaking out and, and doing the right thing, patriotic. Uh, and then we've seen them kind of fade out and get uh, um, emotionally distressed, rightfully so, by the madness that we see in the news every day. But Eric Bollard has always been a constant. I mean, from the very beginning, when I first started to engage with the blogosphere 1.0, there was Eric Bollard. Yep. And uh, whether it was with Media Matters or before that Salon, uh, I, I wasn't familiar with some of his music writing. But now I, I definitely want to go back and, and start reading some Even of Even though material, you're the but... same height, I think of you as Eric's mini-me. So <laughs> you, you, of anyone, needs to take the torch, my friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I had no idea he was a, a fellow tall. I, I didn't know that until I didn't today either. Because six four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I always see him on Zoom, and I assume that yeah. he's only six inches tall, like <laughs> as, like on the screen. <laughs> that, that's, that's how I'll always size. remember him: the six inches tall. Yeah. You, uh, you also. Well, you know, and I was doing uh, I was doing okay yesterday as uh, Travis was was so generous with his time, so we could uh, talk this out uh, on my show. And then uh, I called I Travis. Fine, I, I called I like, Travis and Chris. You were about to start recording. I, yeah. I called to tell you because I think yeah. I happened to go on Twitter right when Soledad O'Brien tweeted that. I'm so glad that you called Travis mm-hmm. because otherwise he and I would have just talked about comic book movies for an hour mm-hmm. and then posted it and no one would have cared. I certainly wouldn't have cared. Plenty of time but for I mean, your for, nerddom later. You know, yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. like not like you're going to stop was, being nerds. I mean. <laughs> yeah, and Travis and I were lucky enough that we had each other to lean on through that first uh, half an hour or so after learning about the news. And then I uh, tacked on to the end of that conversation, my first interview with Eric on my show. Yeah. And that's when I lost it, because right at the beginning, Eric was already joking about his crappy uh, Andy Griffith from Mayberry telephone, like his old timey <laughs> crank. Yes. Yes. He said not 70s. It's telephone. Just a 40s telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, let yes. me just read this because I don't want people yeah. to miss it. You said, I wish okay. I were as strong, but I've always looked to Eric for inspiration as a role model. We would all do well to adopt a little of his steadfastness and courageousness. I hope more of us do. We on the left could always use a little more. Uh, uh, you know, in our spines. Eric's death is yeah. devastating loss for his family, his children, his wife. But those of us who are lucky enough to know him personally, but worse, America will feel the loss too. Our news media, especially without his voice, 
uh, our fourth estate will be that much worse off for it. Who will take up the mantle? Who will hold the increasingly misguided TV news media to account for reinforcing disinformation while continuing to report not on what's true, but on what will get the ratings? Who will call out the lies and gaslighting day after day without blinking or slowing down? To gr- today, our grief and sense of loss well-placed. Eric was a genuinely good man at a time when the space between right and wrong has become badly disported, distorted and blurred. Thank you, Eric, for everything you've contributed to our nation. Thank you for your ceaseless patriotism. Thank you for your consistency. Thank you for your inspiration to carry on the fight, especially when it's hard. You're sorely missed. Ah, Bob, that was beautiful.